Alright, hey Kiosk here, I'm back. I don't I can't believe I totally forgotten that the spirit apparatus even existed. Weird. But then I just had a little like Oh, so that's what that was kind of moment. And pertaining to something that we're about to learn. Oh man, Alistair has had so many wardrobe changes. Did that golem have a little stone penis? Because that is so unnecessary, oh my god. Like... Can, can golems even feel like anything on their own body? What? You know my name. Is it you that forged me then? Is it you that gave me my name? Have you forgotten then? Uh, it has been so long. I may yeah, be really long. You are now, Shale. But before that, you were a dwarf, just as I was. The finest warrior to serve King Valtor, and the only woman to volunteer. But remember... A woman? A dwarf? I laid you on the anvil of the boy <sighs> here in this very room. Put you into the form you now possess. The anvil of the void. That is what we seek. If you seek the anvil, then you must care about my story. Or be doomed to relive it. Uh, you made the anvil? Though I made many things in my time, I rose to fame and earned my status based on a single item. The Anvil of the Void. It allowed me to forge a man of steel or stone as flexible and clever as any soldier. As an army, they were invincible, but I told no one the cost. No mere smith, however skilled, as the power to create life. To make my golems live, I had to take their lives from elsewhere. <laughs> really though, 10 feet tall and invulnerable, I can think of worse fates, like, really? That's pretty cool. Like, you're like a Hulk. Except, even less vulnerable. It was an option I could offer warriors who would volunteer to defend their homeland, and some took it. But King Valtor became greedy. He began to force men, castless and criminals, his political enemies, all ah, of them to be given to the anvil. It took feeling the hammer's blow myself to realize the height of Uh, and what now? You want revenge? Not revenge. The blow of the hammer opened my eyes. My apprentices knew enough to make me as I am, but not enough to fashion a control rod. I retained my mind. You were amongst the most loyal, Shale. You remained at my side throughout, and at the end, I sent you away out of mercy. I do not remember. We have remained entombed here ever since, and I have sought a way to destroy the animal. Alas, I cannot do it myself. No golem can touch it. No! The anvil is mine! No one will take it from me! Shale, you fought to destroy the anvil once. Do not allow it to fall into unthinking hands again! You speak of things I do not remember. You say we fought. Did you use our control rods to command us to do so? I destroyed the rods. Perhaps my apprentices eventually learned to replace the rods. I do not know. 
But if so, then all they need is the anvil to make all the slaves they need. You, please, help me destroy the anvil. Do not let it enslave more souls than it already has. Uh... I mean, I want to help, but just like... As in, like, an ethics thing, you know? Like, I don't want to be, like, mean or side with Bronca or be, like, bargaining here. But whatever, I mean, I came here for a paragon. You're a paragon. We don't need Bronca anymore. Cool. Don't listen. He's been trapped here for a thousand years, stewing in his own madness. Help me claim the anvil, and you will have an army like you've never seen! Bronca, you mad, bleeding nugtail! Does this thing mean so much to you that you can't even see what you've lost to get it? Yeah, apparently. Is this what our empire should look like? A crumbling tunnel filled with dark spawn spume? The anvil will let us spume. take back our glory! That's a fun word. It enslaves living souls. That's kind of fucked up. And by kind of, I mean very. So it fights with Karadin? Good. That seems right. Thank you, stranger. Your compassion shames me. No! You will not take it! Not I know, and this part I is just so live. anime. Bronca, don't throw your life away for this. Just the over-the-shoulder glance. Uh... Well, we have to destroy it. Just give her the blasted thing. She's but confused. Yeah. Maybe once she calms down, we can talk to her. That's not a risk I'm willing to take. Bah. You're not the only master smith here, Karadin. Golems, obey me! Attack! I mean, she was like... Look at this anime. Damn! It started lagging that totally ruined it. Alrighty. Well, I mean, I know we picked up another lightning crystal somewhere. And so, Shale. Is it... Is that better? Nope. Alright. Going. And I'm off. No, you're gonna use shield bash. Damn. She's good. Can I still help in battle? Nope! Wow, you missed everything. You know what, Shale? Die. 
each one of these. Awesome. Oh, hey. And now Bronk is the only one left. Okay, never mind. You don't know what Now this should be fun. Wait, whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck? I mean, to be honest, I remembered this happening, but like, it makes no sense. I remember that it does. I have no clue why. Like, how, how did that even happen? Like, I don't just remember. This is the real Bronco. Cool. Chill. I suppose I should be done by now. I thank it for its help. No prob. Going. Nice. Nice. Paragon. Oh well. Good loot. Damn, this place is cool looking. I really like it. Another like bullshit because of my I wish no mention of it had made it into history. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Stupid woman. Always knew the Anvil would kill her. How is it? Wow. <laughs> was not able to disable me as she did you, Carradin. I do not know. Have you been altered? I once had a pathetic little mage of a master. He did something to me, experimented on me, and then I killed him, and it rendered me paralyzed. Hmm. Perhaps he was bringing forth old memories, and caused you to remember the time when you fought at my side. The paralysis you speak of always resulted when the master perished. As for your free will, you were always a strong woman. I am pleased to see you remain such. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Oh, do not thank me. All of this, this is my duty. Oh man, bringing Shell was a good call. But at least it ends here. I thank you for standing with me, stranger. The anger waits there for you to shatter it. Is there any boon I can grant you for your aid? A final favor before I am freed from my burden? Well, I need a Paragon support. Or, Ogryn. Yeah, Ogryn, what do you want? I just made you kill your wife. Yeah. I don't suppose you can bring Bronca back. Maybe make her a golem like you. I think that's a bad I idea. I would not do such a thing to her, even if I could. Somehow, I didn't think so. Well, and I don't want anything that would remind me of this. Best it's just done. There is still the matter of the election. 
I mean, we still need a paragon to get the assembly support, right? For the aid you've given me, I shall put hammer to steel one last time. Awesome. I'll give you a crown for the king of your choice. What was it Cardall said? You're as likely to find a dozen paragons as one? Well, we did find two! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I will destroy the anvil. Yep. Damn, it's so pretty! <laughs> it's funny, it's like this big steel guy. It's like, just banging on it away. And then, no. Itty bitty elf girl. <laughs> Trust in our tongue May you always find your way in the dark. And he's returned to the stone. Anyway, um, and then, like, itty bitty elf girl. Like, I don't know, not as small as the elves in Dragon Age 2, like... Man, I can't rom I can't stand a romance Meryl, because, like, I'm afraid I'll break her. <sighs> but, like, she just walks up, little hammer, just whap, and there it goes. <clears throat> Seems kind of strange to me. Anyway, but this place is so cool looking. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's so cool. Lyrium is pretty cool. It's kind of scary, but it's pretty cool, too. Ooh. Oh, look at the tablet. Writing, Storvin, list of names, stamp, house. A few of the house names. We honor those who have made this sacrifice. Let their names be remembered. Abgrin, what is this? Uh, names. Long list of dwarves. Wait, hold on. We honor who have made this sacrifice. Let their names be remembered. Fart me a lullaby. It's a memorial. Algren has all the best lines. Golems. Has to be. If there was some way of getting this back to the Shaper at Norzmar, I bet they'd brown their trousers and pay good gold for it. Probably both. Uh, Shale? No. Perhaps it thinks I should. It may have something to do with Carradine's words. If there is some way to make a copy of these runes, I am willing to study them. Perhaps there is something to be gleaned from them. I know not. All right. Cool. We have tracing materials with us now, apparently.
cool. Well, that pretty much beat the sod out of how I imagined it. You ready to head back yet and share the news? Quite the reunion, huh? Yeah, let's go while I can still use a king. Yeah, those dishers have been trying to destroy the city for years. Haven't managed yet. Hmm. You know what it reminds me of? I think I mentioned this, but you know what it reminds me of? Congress. I mean, I get that, like, the lawmaking process was made inefficient and slow and tedious intentionally. But, like, we elected people whose entire campaign was, I'm going to do everything I can to block everything Obama sends my way, no matter what it is. Lord Ugh. Jesus, I call for order. This argument gets us nowhere. If you elect me, I Why swear, I will that? not only not do I my job, right but do my best to ensure that my nobody else can do their job either. Ugh. Who would deny him that? Your father made me swear on his deathbed you would not succeed him. And people were like, Woo! I'm gonna vote for you! Uh. We should let the warden speak. What news do you bring? Also, why do those dwarves have mage staves? Staves. Why do they have staves? Is it because... They're mages. Yeah, actually, so, like Keridan mentioned, not relevant to what's going on here at all, but, yeah, what Keridan, Keridan mentioned that the golems were made from living souls. So that means dwarves do have souls. Uh, despite their not having a connection to the Fade. And, you know, something about the, like, the theory that it's the lyrium that yeah that's the lyrium that causes dwarves to not be able to use magic because usually well the theory that the lyrium shielded us from magic them from magic i'm not a dwarf and eventually made them immune actually doesn't make much sense to me because normally if um, you have absolutely no exposure to something, then you'll be extra sensitive to it. See, like, the entirety of America and anything involving sex. Like, we pretend it doesn't happen, and it'll just go away. And then when someone's like, I'm gonna fuck a person, and they're like, I'm allergic to that. No, yeah, actually, like, uh, I don't know, I forget if it was like babies or fetuses or something there's a study and d fetuses or babies or whatever developed in a sterile environment we're actually more likely to have a bunch of ridiculous allergies because you know their body was like what the fuck is this what am I supposed to do with this so you would think that uh, the dwarves would be extra sensitive to magic once above the surface. And also, even if the it was Lyrium that made them immune to magic, um, you, you know, there are, like, dwarves who've been above, above ground for, like, years and decades and generations. So you'd think that the resistance would wear off eventually. Yep. So yeah, there's my theory. Dwarves aren't immune to magic, they're allergic to it. Actually, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, I think. I mean, I've been like thinking about ways there could be dwarven mages. 
But I just came up with the whole allergic thing. Like, on the spot. That's pretty good. I could include that. I met Keridan. Well, I bear a crown. I bring a crown. Whoa. So many choices here. Don't overwhelm me, guys. Keridan was trapped the void. in the body of a golem. This warden granted him the mercy he sought, releasing him and destroying the anvil of the void. Ah, oh, man. He, he released himself. Keridan forged a crown for Orzammar's next king, chosen by the ancestors themselves. And we there you are have supposed it. to trust this? The word of a drunken sot and a grey warden known to be in Harrowmont's pocket? Silence! As opposed to if I'd been this known to be in your pocket. There's House Ortan's ancient sea. Tell us, warden, whom did Keridan choose? <clears throat> he didn't care, he chose Harrowmont. I appreciate your forthrightness, warden. You have acted with grace through this entire torturous process. <sighs> no kidding. You're telling me, torturous. Ooh, boy. I ended up, like, with how many episodes in the Deep Road? Like, five or six? Let the memories find you worthy. First, amidst the Such a of the sweet houses, crown, oh my god. It's so sweet, like it's a helmet crown. I will not abide by this. It's so cool. The ancestors has spoken. Stand down, you've lost. It's over. Decision has been made. Would you let a surfacer decide the fate of the dwarves? Watch out. I Take didn't. Keridan did. Guards. My favorite part is how I told them I met Keridan, and they just believed me. Yeah, look, look at that, look at that. Hey. Oh, never mind. Because some of the staves are usable by non-mages. There's like one or two. Oh, that's not Alistair. I thought it was. Just out of the corner of my eye. And of course, we need one more boss fight for this. Uh, fuck. Where's. Okay. Is there a chain lightning going on there? See, I'm just looking hard for any sign that dwarves could be mages. Like, see that guy. Yeah, there are definitely magical attacks going around. I admit I did not think even Balin would defy the word of a paragon, nor that so many would follow him. But most of Orzammar has seen him for what he really is, and I trust we will bring this insurgency under control. And there go the Idukins. Well, show them you are a strong king and they'll rule you. I prefer to be known as a just and compassionate king. 
Strong too often comes to mean tyrannical. True. But I will not leave this uprising unpunished. Those loyal to the throne will begin preparations for a surface mission immediately. Orzama will fulfill its treaties. Thank you, King Harimont. Perhaps your rule will mark a new era for Orzama. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get to the palace and set our plans in motion. Man, but if you side with Balin, there's this line that says, Congratulations. Bravo. Now, where are my troops? And I love it. I love that. <sighs> Don't I get a statue? Uh, I've got, uh, I've got more work to do, too, so... This is the staff I carried as King Endrin's second. What? Take it as a reminder of your place in Orzammar. I wish you luck against the Blight Warden. May we foster another four centuries of peace. Your role in this election will long be remembered, Warden. Your role in this election will long be remembered, Warden. Is that good? Dude, sweet. Oh. Can I have an axe? No, oh, I found one of the really good ones. But yeah. The thing I don't like about and they just grow lyrium and tanks. Cool, but what I don't like about the improved atmosphere mod is Going. it takes the Vishal. I may have mentioned this. I've got the key to Orzmar now. Sweet. But it takes the like best war axe in the game. Ooh, that's good. And it makes it yet another bad lax. So yeah, that's really annoying to me. Cause like that was my favorite weapon in the game, but no. What the fuck? Why is? God damn it. Well, I think that's enough. Actually, wait, no, hang on. Throne restored and legends put to rest. Incredible. What? If I'd heard it secondhand, I'd have called it a sodding lie. Warden, we've got a king because of you. And we found two paragons. It was pretty cool. The Legion is grateful most for restored leadership. It frees us to fight to the dark spawn properly. I'm glad. For I don't need you at your best. Nay. Our place is down here. When you break the blight, and you've got the skill, we'll make sure they have nowhere to retreat. You'll have us indirectly. That's more than any surface can say. Yeah, I know, that's... 
Honestly, I think that sounds pretty good. It's a pretty good deal, I think. Best of the vein, dear Grey Warden. Until the stones embrace. And now we're done with this episode. Um. Yeah, hope you join us next time. Bye.